Remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder, treason, and plot. I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Carnage88 UK and I'm doing a painting today on Guy Fox. Now, Guy Fox was a gentleman who some of you may know the story, uh, mainly if you're from the UK. But if you're not, generally it's um, not a well-known subject. But we celebrate it over here in the UK, which is why I'm doing this painting. In 16, 1605, Guy Fawkes did... Um, he created a plot with um, a group of English gentlemen... Uh, I've got the wiki open here because I don't fully know names, but there's some here. Um, but I'll read the wiki for you now. It says, in 1604, Fox became involved with a small group of English Catholics led by Robert Catesby, who planned to assassinate the Protestant King James and replace him with his daughter, third in line of succession, Princess Elizabeth. Um, Fox was described by the Jesuit priest and former school friend Oswald Tesmond as pleasant, unapproached, and cheerful of manner, opposed to quarrels and strife, loyal to his friend. Uh, yada yada yada. We, yeah, that's not fully what we're looking at here. Um, so, he served a lot in his life, and um, he was. During the one of the wars, uh, Spanish War, he was involved in that. Um, but basically, what happened is in 1605, him and three other gentlemen actually plotted to blow up our Houses of Parliament over here in the UK. However, he failed that miserably. Uh, what happened was, um, during the plot, his other friends became, heard a noise or something and basically panicked. Um, they fled the scene and Guy Fox was essentially left holding his own tail and he never got to blow it up uh, he wanted to destroy government and it didn't work and as a result um, actually we've got it right here uh, here we go Prompted by the receipt of an anonymous letter, the authorities searched Westminster Palace during the early hours of 5th November and found Fox guarding the explosives. Over the next few days, he was questioned and tortured and eventually confessed. Immediately before his execution on 31st of January, Fox fell from the scaffold where he was to be hanged and broke his neck, thus avoiding the agony of mutilation that followed. Fox became synonymous with the gunpowder plot, the failure of which has been commer commemorated in Britain since 5th November 1605. His effigy is traditionally burned on a bonfire, commonly accompanied by a fireworks display. Now that means we celebrate his complete and terrible disaster failure. And it's unfortunate for him, but for us, it is a lot of fun. Now what that means is, um, well, well, we set off fireworks because he failed to set off his gunpowder, so we set off ours, and we also, uh, generally, it's we use it to get rid of our scrap and such, or we will go and find wood if we're like this. Some of us use it for scrap, other of us, others, um actually go out their way and get everyone scrap and we burn that we'll make a large fire in a field and 
we burn it and we actually make statues to well the closer resemblance to him the better we seem to feel but sometimes it'll just be a man shaped figure made out of wood and we'll place that on the fire Can't, not unlike your burning man it is just like that uh, well for the Americans and the more commonly known is burning man we have burning Guy Fox. And the lesser known topic of the 5th of November is it's actually my birthday. <laughs> so that's why I love to celebrate Guy Fawkes so often. Because in on Guy Fawkes night, 5th of November, 29 years ago in 1988, I was being born to the sound of fireworks. And it was a lot of fun. I'm sure it was. I don't remember it. I was being born. And I'm glad I don't remember it. That would be pretty traumatising. But basically. I don't know. It feels. Um, the Guy Fox thing feels. Maybe a bit forced onto us. Because. Government. The government want us to celebrate the fact that we still have them. Maybe. I don't know. Not a fan of government, but it is what it is. But I celebrate it because I like to pretend that the fireworks are for me. Because while there's fireworks going off and bonfires being lit and everyone's celebrating. Everyone is also coming to me saying, happy birthday. And I'm going, yay. <laughs> but yes. It is a good day for me. I can't exactly attribute that day to negative feelings. So, that's how it is. <laughs> but this is my painting on um, Guy Fox. As you can see, just like the gunpowder plot, this also failed. Fa field? This also failed. So, good times. I don't mind because some of you may know this, some of you may not, but art is not a consecutive succession of victories. Just like when playing music, you'll hit a bum note. And just like where, what else can we attribute that to? Everything really. When you are practicing something and you're doing it for yourself or you're doing it for someone else, you're going to find faults in the lead. And that's just how life is. And the trick is to follow like my tattoo says on my... I have a tattoo across my wrist and it says I'll die trying. And it is just like that. You don't, if you fail, you don't give up. You don't say, okay, I'm done. I'm not very good at that. You say, okay, let's do it again. This time could work. <laughs> but yes, I enjoyed painting it a lot. And it was a good attempt. Now, there is also the fact that Guy Fox is commonly used in... All over the world now, actually, thanks to the scene I put up at the beginning of this, along with a website commonly known as 4chan. Um, Anonymous adopted the mask of Guy Fox. Now, I am unsure which came first. I think 4chan actually adopted um, the mask before V for Vendetta. And I think maybe V for Vendetta got that idea from there. Uh, v for De Vendetta was released in 2005 and based on a comic in 1988. But uh, I would have to look it up. Let's have a quick look here. I want to know if they used the masks in the comic.
because I know 4chan adopted the comic for uh, as a symbol for um, the Anonymous Legion. Yes, they did use it in 1988 as well. So, I believe V for Vendetta actually did it first. Um, v for Vendetta is a British graphic novel written by Alan Moore and illustrated by David Lloyd, published by DC Comics. Um, it proceeded by a nuclear war in the 1980s, which had devastated most of the rest of the world and I will put an image up here so you can see that V for Vendetta did it first <laughs> but that doesn't destroy the symbol whatsoever of what 4chan are doing with their anonymous either because anonymous are well they're not always good they're not always bad but they generally utilize that mask. And uh, maybe it's just because it's a popular mask. It's, they're relatively cheap, easy to come by, and made for the masses in bulk. So, yeah, uh, they're used on both sides there, and not a problem with that. But generally, you will assemble, you will symbolize the mask of Guy Fawkes because that is used it represents his face and that mask is you generally symbolized alongside anonymous these days and to be honest I personally attribute it more to good than bad there has been some bad times but generally they do some good in the world and I'm appreciate I appreciate it but anywho, on on that on that note, I would like to thank you all for watching, and I want you all to know that I really appreciate your continued support throughout all of this. My videos have been going continuously, and I'm trying to keep it so I'm going every week, every Saturday one o'clock new video and I hope to continue this on with the future as much as possible because I have no regrets in it and I'm enjoying it so much and I'm really appreciative of the currently 329 and counting subscribers who also appreciate it and the 179,000 people who appreciate at least a little a little enough to watch I also want to thank everyone from my stream who's been there for me spent some time come and spoke to me and I hope to see more people come to my stream check out my Instagram all of that stuff and come and just just come say hi come let me know what you think and let me know that you've enjoyed it that'd be great I would love to see a bunch of people come and see, like, let me know they've enjoyed my um, artwork. So thank you very much. And I hope you all continue to support me from here on out. And I look forward to seeing you all. Thank you very much. And in the meantime, have a, have a wonderful minute. Have a wonderful second. Have a wonderful day. Just... Keep being wonderful, as you always are. Thank you very much, and bye-bye.